I'm going to do red lips today. Hi, look at you in your pretty outfit. I have on the um, Too Faced matte eyeshadow palette. I use the white all over the lid, the gray in the crease, what's it called? Pebbles in the crease, London Fog, a little bit on the outer corner. I used uh, bronze rose, rose, rose bronze, Chanel, kind of neutral. And then I took a little bit, little bit of red and just kind of went right there and right there. I've already done the lip balm on my lips. In fact, I should probably blot that off. This is not a tutorial. This is just a demonstration of color. So I'm going to be out of the lines and all kinds of crazy stuff. So. And so I use, I'm using NYX Deep Red Pencil because that's the only red pencil I have. Deep Red. And my first lipstick that I'm going to use is a Guerlain. Of course, it's a sample. Can't afford a real one. Um, Rouge Automatique in number 120. What are you doing? You still have cat ears. It's like I get cat ears in my eyes and I can't see them. And so here's the 120 Rouge Automatique. Hmm. All right, we'll pretend we don't have a cat here. Are still there. <laughs> Alright, so there's the Rouge Automatique 120 red. Now, oh, let me tell you, my ribbon is from chocolate bars, Theo's chocolate. It wrapped up a bunch of chocolate bars. And hey, the other saying besides if you can have fun or more fun, which would you want? Of course, more fun. The other saying that my daughter and I have is don't throw it out. So you can always use it somehow. So um, this was my little chocolate ribbon. Take that off. He likes the grass better than hay. They all like green. They all like fresh greens. Now I'm going to take Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick Fire and Ice. It's got the clear top on it when you go look for it in a drugstore. It's Fire and Ice. I think my mom used to wear it back when I was a kid. In the 50s, careful you'd be using lip brushes. So here is Fire and Ice. Maybe I should go like this when we do it. Then let's take that off. See, my point is going to be you can wear it. You're used to seeing yourself, especially if you've been wearing nudes. If you've been wearing a lot of nudes, this is going to scare the heck out of you. But um, when you go out, it's not going to scare anybody else. Okay, the next one is one of my favorites, if not the favorite. It's Revlon Matte 006. Really red. It's got another clear top. You go look for it. Look at that baby. It is gorgeous. Uh, somebody told me this is what uh, they wear on the TV show Mad Men. I believe I've seen it in other TV shows, and I think dancers, cuz just about anybody can wear it. Now, reds, you have to be very careful to stay in the lines. I don't know that I stayed in the lines. Go in your little outfit. Show us your, your outfit, huh? It's the corners you really have to be careful of. So. Here is the really red matte lipstick. I love it. The next one is NYX Hebe, I call it. H-E-B-E. -E. It's LSS543. It looks like this. It's a dark red. It's got a little bit of gold kind of going through it. Which, you know, as soon as I say gold going through it, I like it. And... This one's a little more emollient. The really red may be drying to some of you. This one feels really good. Oh, there it is. Hebe, NYX. Still talk backwards. Oh, 
Okay, we're getting into the darker ones. This is Chanel. It is number 75, Rouge Allure Lac. And this one is in Dragon. This was the first Chanel thing I ever bought because I wanted the prettiest, most truest, darkest red I could get. So this is kind of hard to apply because it's so it's like a gloss. When I said gloss to the lady, to the sales lady, she says, "No, it's not a gloss." So look at look at just one swipe. Oh, well, two swipes. So now shape it up with a brush. So this is Chanel Dragon. Looks like this. Oh, trick with it, and I tell all my brides this, you guys probably know this, but um, so you don't get it on your teeth, get it on your finger instead. Now, this is the darkest color. This is scary. Looks like a sample to this me. This is Lancome Rouge Sensation in Red Desire. Look at that baby. Isn't that scary? Guess what? We're going to wear it. We could wear it to town. We could wear it to the post office. See, you're getting used to me in red, right? Here it is. Alright. I'm going to take this off and uh, do a nude lip in front of you guys. So hang on. I need to do the nude lip. I need a Marlena filter, which if anybody's ever watched Days of Our Lives, Marlena always is under a diffusing filter. And uh, trying to make her look glamorous, I guess. And then when it pans on to somebody else, then they're, you know, regular sharp filter. So I'm using... Max Naked Liner. I don't like the Mac liners. I don't really like the NYX liners. They get hard. And they don't slide around. I really like the Lee Swatier and the Elizabeth Arden. I'm still like them. Elizabeth Arden. They stay soft. I'm using Max Blankety. Everybody pretty knows what that comes like. And go over the Naked. This is an amplified, I think it's amplified, yeah, so it feels pretty emollient, and I'm looking dead, so I think with a nude, you always need a gloss. So I'm going to use, the one Gina uses a lot, is the uh, Physician's Formula Plump, Physician's Formula Plump Lotion, because there's no color to it, so let's go the whole nude way. I do more than just the center. So, let's get all this out. Here's me in the nude look. Here's all the nudes. What do you think? Do you like color on me? Do you like nude on me? I, need, I did do my Photoshop spray. I used my um, SD Lauder. All oh, these women. Elizabeth Arden, S.D. Lauder, S.D. Lauder, and I really, want, I'm sick of looking like no makeup. It looks better, I guess, after YouTube's processed it a few times, but, so even on top of that, I use the Laura Mercier, um, and Natural Beige, trying to cover everything up. I don't know what full coverage is. Maybe, I mean, I don't have big bad zits or anything, but I want smooth skin. I want to look like the Style Chronicles. Oh, speaking of the Style Chronicles and... Makeup Never Sleeps. They would be gorgeous in these reds, and they do wear them. They have pale skin, dark hair, and it just really sets it off gorgeous. Um, but blondes look gorgeous in the reds, too. So, see, everybody can wear it. Give it a try. Let me know how it goes for you. Let me know which color you like on you best. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Oh, um, let me know what you guys, um, other, you know, videos you guys want to see. Um, it really helps me, you know, put on what you want to see. I want to get more subscribers. So help me get some more subscribers. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.